Hey lovely people, this is Sean and I'm not at the lovely place today, but what we're doing is projects and chores that need to be done in order to be prepared for the lovely place if you're not a part of this channel and you don't know what the lovely place is it's a homestead that we're creating we bought our property about two years ago and we've been slowly doing everything from building pole barns to driveways tearing out trees bulldozing got us a tractor got us a cutter doing all sorts of things. Now we're creating a tiny house, just put propane pipes in, a propane tank, a wood stove's coming in, lots of cool stuff. So if you haven't done so, consider subscribing. But today what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk Milwaukee. I'm a huge Milwaukee Packout fan. And in fact, Milwaukee Packout toolboxes is the first thing that I bought in the Milwaukee lineup. Soon after, I just had to break down and get Milwaukee tools. But today, I'm retrofitting something using the Milwaukee feet and cleats with the packout system. You're gonna see it. I talked about it in a previous video when I was going over some new tools for the homestead that we had bought and we were putting together some things. I had an idea for our Milwaukee table saw and how to connect it to these awesome, tough-built job site saw horses and work tables. Now, I also had the, the brilliant idea of, and I'll show you all this when we get it together, of taking this rigid miter saw table and utilizing it with the Milwaukee table saw. And what I mean by that is finding a low table to mount the Milwaukee table saw onto, which you'll see how I'm gonna convert the table saw into a packout system for these saw horses. And then when we slide that wood across the table saw for cutting, that it will have a place that it can fall onto and slide right across. And we can use extended boards when we're cutting with the table saw. So I'm gonna show you how all of this works and you're gonna see us put together and make our very own table saw pack out system. It's gonna be neat. Enjoy it. Oh, and by the way, Mrs. Lovely's boiling some water and she's about to sanitize this peat moss and start her seeds. She's washing all these little seedling, uh, what are these called? Trays. trays. <laughs> seedling seed trays. So she can put her soil in here and begin setting up her own seeds so that we can have a huge garden coming up in the spring. These are my Milwaukee toolboxes and uh, I'll, I'll do a more in-depth overview of the way these are laid out in the, the back uh, bed of my pickup truck in an upcoming video. But if you have a truck, I, I purchased the, the standard truck bed when I bought this truck, not the short and not the extended. So I think this one's a little over six feet in length, but it works out perfect for these toolboxes and the placement of them. These are the large ones that have the big wheels underneath. I'm able to pack a lot of stuff in here that pops up and it'll stay right up there. You can stand up here, click that button, bring it back down. And then these, this is the system. This one has the wheels down low and it's got the handle that pops up. I've got my handles taken off and put up against the wall back there because with them on, they won't go down far enough for my tonneau cover to land on here. And this, these two, bo two boxes here are the ones that come standard if you buy this whole kit that you roll. And then I've added some things, but all of this has the perfect clearance to get my tonneau cover down and latched. And uh, I can just haul everything around all the time. It's pretty sweet. So the pack out, I totally love it. You can see it's how it's got these feet on the bottom of the boxes. And I purchased feet so that I can mount that onto a piece of plywood. Uh, or a different kind of board and uh, we can connect it with this piece that I bought. So this is the piece I bought to mount onto a board that's going to be uh, able to take on and off of those saw horses, my tough built uh, C700 saw horses. This is the pack out. Uh, it's just like a, a wall and floor mounting tray. It, this is actually, I think what they call the cleats and I purchased this from Home Depot, I think for about 30 bucks, and uh, gonna mount this on the right board in the right way so it's gonna work out perfect on my saw horses. So these are the feet that I'm gonna be mounting. There's eight of them and there's eight holes over there in the feet, two, four, 
six, actually there's 12 over there, so I'll spread them out, won't use every, every hole. But uh, yeah, back to these saw horses. So as you can see, I'm on my driveway and it's very unlevel. However, these saw horses are pretty close to level, darn close. Okay, you see that? This one back here darn close to level okay however and these are all adjustable this side these feet are all the way up as short as it can go and i've dropped this one down several notches this is the cam lock and it allows you to adjust it put it in the bracket that you need and drop it down and the back one it may even be in a lower one i'm not sure this one definitely is back here so you can see that even though I'm on an unlevel surface. These sawhorses are uh, giving me a level surface on the top, which is awesome. And we're going to need that. And you're going to be in different terrains with your table saw if you're out and about doing your work. And so this is a great solution for a table saw table that you can level out no matter where you're at. These are very mobile. We will put a link in the description so you can see the complete overview of the tough built saw horse and job site table. It's the C700. You're gonna like that. Since we're here and we have the Milwaukee radio and Bluetooth connection device setting here, pack out ready, we're gonna go ahead and punch this on and get started with some music. Let's shift away from this world of madness Take a little time to enjoy the silence Feel the wind as it touches your lips Feel the sun as you close your eyelids Sharpen my blade I think I need to swap out my blade here I'm not sure if I've done this yet Think of a place where there's only blackness Take me by the hand and try
It's about to rain. We gotta get it back in the garage. Let's see if it works. Here's these. Here we go. Oh, I need to turn it around. I moved it. Let's try it this way. Ah, oh, something's off. We'll come back. So who would have thought that this would have turned into such a project? So I've got this on here. I have my feet on the board. And let me just show you, they all seem to fit really, really good. Just off right there. But what it's failing to do is slide up another inch or so to right before this line. That's where it's supposed to go when it falls in there. What I have done is I have taken a little rubber mallet and I have, you know, just popped it put a two by four up against there and just kind of beat it until it finally after pounding on it it sunk in that uh, and uh, that additional inch but that's not going to work so i have an idea what i'm thinking is going on is i'm thinking that this space right in here is not quite deep enough for these to fit through easily so I'm gonna take each one of these off. I'm gonna put a washer underneath each screw and put them back down. And we'll see if that helps so that I can slide that in there easier. Fingers crossed. Yes. 
Yes, that did it. We are flush on the front. That, that put it in 100%. Now, this will pull out. It's hard to do with one hand. I can take this, I can drop it down on there with the saw mounted to it, and slide it in, and it's good. Perfect.
success. What about it, lovely people? We've got this, we whipped it. Now, it whipped me a few times, but this thing is working. So I ended up adding an additional washer here. So I have five washers on both the front and the back, just to prevent this from squishing down and pulling that up so that it's not even. But now we've got it, and it's a nice snug fit. So it's not gonna pop out easy at all. We're going to set the uh, other table in front of this and show you what the plan is so that this can easily be mobile and we can pop it off Carry it where we need to go and we can use this table saw Off of these saw horses. We don't have to connect it to this those feet will set on any surface on the ground wherever but To keep right now as you know, these legs are extended further. These are shorter We have a pretty level surface just right here on an unlevel uh, concrete driveway. Uh, I love it, I'm excited about it. This is the Milwaukee Fuel Table Saw Packout System combined with the Tough Built Sawhorse C700 job site table. And yeah, it could, it could use some paint, it could use some sanding, maybe some routering, but what we've got is a table that's functional and it will work. So I hope you enjoyed this. And we look forward to seeing you next time at the lovely place. Have a great one.